Can humans live forever? That's the million dollar question. There are plenty of beliefs about how long humanity has inhabited this planet, with some saying we've only been here for 700 years, and others saying we've been here since 20,000 BC. The problem is that without evidence, it makes it nearly impossible to pinpoint exactly how long humanity has existed on Earth, which makes it hard to statistically prove anything. But you'll be pleased to hear that some scientific theories suggest humans will exist forever or humans will never die or disappear from this planet. If you're a new subscriber, I say welcome to the family. For our existing community and newbies, stay tuned while we get into today's topic. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first theory is that we are living in a multiverse, which is the idea that there are many universes and they all exist alongside each other. The idea of a multiverse has been around since the early 1900s when it was first proposed by Albert Einstein and two decades later by physicist Hugh Everett III. In 1964, scientist Carl Sagan suggested that there are billions of galaxies with hundreds of billions of stars and planets in the universe. So. Statistically, it is likely that at least one of these planets will have the right conditions for life to develop. In this theory, humans are just one of many species that exist in other universes. However, there is no proof for this idea. We humans are pretty good at surviving. We're able to adapt and change quickly to survive, and this is why we are the most dominant species on the planet. If other species were better suited for survival than us, we would already be extinct. We are the only species that has been able to survive in all types of environments, from the cold to scorching hot deserts, from frozen tundras to humid jungles. We've conquered land, air, and sea. We can live in any climate and thrive. There are no other species like us on Earth, so it stands to reason that if there is life anywhere else in the universe, it probably wouldn't be anything like us. The history of human behavior is a history of cruelty, misery, and killing on a scale that would make any space alien weep for our species. We have fought wars over trivial feuds and slaughtered millions of people in the name of religion and politics. We have enslaved other humans, hunted species to extinction, and wiped out indigenous tribes. Even today, we are in the middle of a massive extinction event caused by human activity. Our planet is in the midst of a mass extinction event, and humans are to blame. Scientists warn us that Earth could lose up to 1 million species by the end of this century, and it's all because of us. Humans have done several things to cause this loss, but the main culprit is habitat destruction. Our planet has been transformed into one giant human-made ecosystem with roads cutting through once wild forests and cities sprawling across former grasslands. And it's not just the animals that are suffering. Plants are also feeling the effects of our impact on the environment. Since the Earth was formed 4.5 billion years ago, it has changed a lot. It has been bombarded with asteroids, become ice covered, and gone through multiple massive extinctions some of which wiped out the majority of life on Earth. But now, we are the ones causing the sixth mass extinction event. We are responsible for killing off species at a rate that is 100 times higher than what would occur naturally. There are a bunch of natural threats to our existence that we know of like supernovas, gamma ray bursts from black holes, and rogue planets passing near us and altering the orbit of other planets, which could wipe out life on our planet. But there are also a bunch of threats that we don't know about that could wipe out life on our planet. And the scariest part is that some of these things are already happening. This births the question of how long humans can survive. Humans are an adaptable species. 
and we have been able to survive for thousands of years by adapting to our environment. But the problem with humans is that there is a limit to our ability to adapt. If the planet changes too quickly, we won't be able to keep up. And right now, we're seeing huge changes happening all around us. Climate change is altering weather patterns in unpredictable ways. Ocean acidification is dissolving coral reefs and threatening marine life as a whole. And deforestation is causing more carbon dioxide emissions than ever before. At our current rate of technological advancement, it might be a few hundred years more, but if we're able to colonize other planets, it could be much longer. We do not have to rely on just staying on Earth for survival. Technology has tried its best at making life easy and hard for us at the same time. Because of science and technology, we now have nukes laying in every country, harboring, waiting for the day it will be unleashed on humanity in the name of war. Science and technology will allow us to survive, but it also gives us the option of leaving this planet behind. If we do choose to leave our home behind, there are some things we must consider. To begin, where do we go? There are a few options, but the most likely one is Mars. Mars has water and is close to us in distance, making it more accessible than other planets. It's also not as harsh of an environment as other planets in our solar system, making it easier for humans to live there. The next question is, how do we get there? There are two main options, rocket ships and space elevators. Rocket ships would be much cheaper and faster, but they come with their problems. For example, the fuel required for a rocket ship to reach Mars could take up half of its payload capacity when leaving Earth. This means that we would need to send twice as much fuel for a rocket ship than for a space elevator. The other problem with rocket ships is their size and speed. They can only travel at about 20,000 kilometers per hour, which takes anywhere from 6 to 12 months to reach Mars depending on where it's located in its orbit. Another perspective to this is the aging factor of the human body. We must think about the legacy we'll leave behind because we were taught that death is inevitable. But what if you could work on your life's work indefinitely? What if you didn't need to pass away? If you were born in 1800 when the average life expectancy was 35 years, you would think that the concept of living forever is only found in fairy tales. However, the average life expectancy in the United States is now 80 for women and 75 for males. If the lifespan can more than double in 200 years, may it then double once more? Could it go on forever? Well, there are a lot of healthy threatening ailments that US citizens now face due to some poor health measures that some take, and for others, it could be genetically transferred. The formation of free radicals, which are chemicals that harm the body more and more as we age, might be stopped with anti-aging medications. Researchers are also looking into whether substances like resveratrol, which is present in red wine, may be useful as pills since they may be able to slow down the genetic process of aging. While some would-be centenarians have started receiving injections of human growth hormone in the hopes that they will halt the body from aging, some experts believe that telomerase, an enzyme that repairs protective coats on cells, is the solution. We have gotten so far already, you should click on that subscribe button if you are not a subscriber on this channel yet. So, can humanity really live forever? It is not so certain yet considering that the weather conditions have been extremely weird due to the depicted ozone layer. More so, we now live in an advanced age where farmers get all products processed so it can last long on the shelf. All of these things affect us in a negative way. 
Maybe if we take precautions as responsible individuals of the earth, just maybe we can really live forever. You will agree with me that to save humanity, we all need to work together in an undivided unity to achieve such an amazing goal. What are your thoughts so far on this topic? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And lastly, thank you for watching this through. Stay tuned for much more we're bringing your way.